Hey y'all, it's Flatbread Friday again. And I know I missed last week. I don't know if you caught my left my Thanksgiving leftovers video, but I did do a sorta a sort of pizza or a sort of flatbread. It wasn't really. Um, I made something in using King's wine rolls. But anyway, today um, we are going to make a chicken cordon bleu tart. It's got a puff pastry crust and ham, country ham, and some cheese, Swiss cheese, and I'm also making a base out of um, some honey mustard and some cheddar cheese spread. So that's gonna add a little more cheesiness and a little more tang to it and some sweetness. And then at the end, we're gonna drizzle with a little more honey mustard and it's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned. Sizzle, sizzle, we're cooking up our ham. The chicken is in the oven poaching, and that will be done in just a little while. I'm going to pull that so it matches with the ham-sized pieces, and we're going to just go with this until the ham is cooked through. You don't want to eat raw ham, so we're going to keep going. It's time to take our ham off. As you can see, it's sizzled up nicely. And we're going to put that on a plate and set it aside while we prep the rest of our ingredients. We're going to caramelize some onions next. We're going to add a little bit of oil to a frying pan. Use olive oil. And just a little, da, 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 da. a little bit. This is over medium heat. These onions take a long time. They take about 45 minutes. So <laughs> we're going to start them and then we're going to take a pause while they cook, and they'll be beautiful. Maybe we'll keep up with their progress as we're going along. Okay, so we have our sliced up sweet onion. This is a half an onion. In the go. salt. You don't need a whole lot because this ham is very salty for me. And some pepper. And I am going to just use a little tiny dash of nutmeg. I think that'll add a nice flavor with the honey mustard. So. Stir that in. And we'll let these guys go low and slow until they're nicely caramelized. And we'll have a look at that when they're done. Let's let those go and we'll keep working. While those onions are cooking, we're gonna make our sauce, our spread for the base of the pizza. This is fun stuff. We have some cheddar pub cheese. Put that in a little bowl. So anyway, now we're going to have some Dijon mustard, which I'm very low on, so it's upside down. I'm going to squirt that in. I don't know if you can see, you can't see. Whoops. I always make a mess with mustard. <laughs> My whole life. Come on. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons. This is about a half a cup of the cheese mixture. And that's about all I'm gonna get for now. I'm gonna have some nice local honey. I give this to Kelly in her dinner for her allergies and it's delicious. A little bit, whoa, ketchup.
press, mix, press. Probably should have softened this cheese a little bit more, but we're getting there. Because this is a tart and not a flat pizza shell, we really don't have to worry about this cheese oozing out of the of the tart because it has a nice edge on it. All right, I think we are well mixed. And we're gonna set that aside for when the rest of the ingredients are ready. We'll be, pretty soon we're gonna be building this bad boy. Our onions are coming along very nicely. They'll be done soon. They're gonna be delectable on this pizza. I don't know if you take Traditionally, chicken cordon bleu doesn't have onions, but I thought it, they would be delicious, so I did it. Okay, our onions have shrunken considerably, but as you can see, they're beautifully golden and soft and ready to go. So now, we're gonna take our chicken out of the oven. And we didn't do the whole poaching process, but you'll see how it, how it ends up. And then it's gonna be a few minutes before I can pull these, so I'll have to pause you again. Ugh, messy, messy, messy. Okay, so here we have them. A little poaching liquid, salt and pepper. Yep, they're firm to the touch. They are ready to go. So um, we're gonna put our, this away, wipe our fingers off, and in just a minute we're gonna pull this chicken and get it ready. And then we'll be ready to build our pizza. Chicken's ready to be pulled. Still a little bit warm, but it's going to be good. So you just pull it apart and then. So we are ready to build our chicken cordon bleu tart. Okay, so we have a baking sheet lined with parchment. The oven is preheating to 425 degrees. Put on our puff pastry sheet. papers in between so you can just unfold the whole thing. We're going to use it this way anyway. We'll press it out a little bit. <laughs> I don't even own a rolling pin. I should, but I don't. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn up the edges. Oh, you can't see that. So. Just a little bit. Just pinch and pinch and pinch make a nice little edge. It's crinkly. Okay, so we have a mini tart. <laughs> I could have used both, but I won't. So now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our honey mustard cheese spread. There we have that. 
sure our crust stays up. Up, 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 up. Okay, now we're going to start with our chicken. And obviously we don't need this much for this tiny little crust. <laughs> Oops, dropped a couple pieces. So I'll be doing something else with shredded chicken. Maybe a soup or, or something because I still have that other breast available. And because it's just me, this tiny little piece is good. Now, if you have a rolling pin, you could roll this out to a bigger rectangle or join the two pieces together and make a make a big rec rectangle out of those. If you're feeding a family, like I'm sure a lot of you are. All right, chicken's on. sure you have a nice little coverage of chicken. And now for our ham. You remember that? And that's going to go on. Again, coverage is key. Make sure you get a little bit of everything and every bite. Okay, ham is on. And next thing we're gonna use is our caramelized onions, which are still in the pan. Okay, and this is what our chopped up Swiss cheese came out like. Not bad for a pizza. And we're gonna put that on top. And in the oven she goes. Okay, here you have it. It's our chicken cordon bleu tart. I'm gonna just give you a little close up on that. It smells amazing too. And I'm thinking, because I've been on an appetizer kick lately, I might cut these into strips because it's made a mess of that bit. So that's what I'm thinking. We could go right down the middle. And if that's the way you want to eat it, then that's perfectly fine. And then, I hope the ham cooperates because it's kind of hard. Yeah. Okay, that is gonna work. It's gonna be nice. Now I was gonna drizzle these with, I took the rest of my Dijon, mixed it with some regular yellow mustard, some more honey, and a little bit of water, it's a little thin, but I don't know, I'm thinking dipping, but maybe not. Let's arrange. These would make a nice little snack for your holiday guests. Once they cool a little bit, they'll be a little less bendy. And maybe that little cup in the middle will do, but I think what we'll do is just put it alone. It's 
coming out in dots, as you can see. Oops, I did that one. Okay, so. I'm gonna do this. Okay, we have one way to serve it. <laughs> As little snackies. Or, if you wanna eat it for dinner, just serve it on a plate. And that is our flatbread Friday for this week. We'll see you again next Friday, and we'll see you sooner than that. We got Soup Sunday coming up, and I also got an appetizer, a nice one, coming up as well. So we'll see you soon. See you soon. Happy Flatbread Friday.